Sheriff made, you know, we're going to go to Kentucky at one point, point in time. They had the coaching chain. Then kind of Georgia came into the picture. Just kind of what about Georgia? Coach White just kind of made you start paying attention to UGA. Um, you know, staying in Atlanta for like two years, uh, mm -hmm. he kind of like, you know, knew a little bit about Georgia. But, but he, he goes way back when uh, Coach White been recruiting me since my freshman year when mm -hmm. he was in Florida. Yeah. Um, I think we built a relationship then. Uh, I've known about him. He knew about me. Uh, obviously, I was going to go to Kentucky, but, you know, I guess uh, God had different plans for me. And, uh, yeah, you know, I came over here and I felt the environment and everything. And, you know, of course, I watched films and everything. And I saw that, like, this is the place I could, you know, mm -hmm. come with what I do and, you know, how it's going to help me improve my game and what I can bring to the table. So mm -hmm. I felt like this is the best place for me and, uh, and I know it's the best place for me. So. Yeah. You know, I just got to talk with Justin about the, you know, the fact that Coach White wants to see more guys be able to do, you know, protect the rim. One team didn't do such a great job. I saw they're going to be one of your your strengths. And then just talk about your 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 way you kind of like to attack the um, boards. I mean, yeah, I I play the game of basketball with everything I have. So I obviously want to do whatever I can to help teams. Like whatever team I'm on win, I just start blocking, shot, playing defense, whatever it is. Like. Um, People really know me as a shot blocker, but mm -hmm. I think it's way more than that. I play whatever position you want me to play defense on. Uh, but yeah, Coach White, we spoke on that. He really emphasized on my, you know, defensive uh, abilities about, you know, protecting the rim and everything. Mm -hmm. uh, just we have a lot of great guys here that can really, you know, play defense from what I've seen from the practice and everything. But you know, that's one of my strengths, and I, you know, I'm looking forward to, you know. Decision and everything. I'll slide one more question for you and jump off the other side over there. Um, I mean, and all offensively, do you think you're underrated as an offensive player in some respects? Um, I don't really use the word uh, underrated or anything. I just, if you see it, you see it. If you don't, you don't. I mean, mm -hmm. As long as my team is winning, I'm fine. Mm -hmm. I don't really care. So, okay. Santa, how hectic was that time from the coaching change at Kentucky and just trying to decide where you were going? Um, uh, I would say everything about my life, I try to stay as calm as possible. Uh, just try to make the right decision. Uh, of course, it wasn't the plan and everything, but you know, I spoke with my people and uh, we thought about it, I prayed about it, and uh, you know, I believe everything happens for a reason. Uh, so, you know, it happened and you know, I'm here today, but whatever happens, I just, you know, keep calm, think about it, you know, take your time, you know, make the right decision. What's the last months been like for you since you got here? Getting adjusted and just getting acclimated to this thing. Um, I feel like I I can pretty much adjust to any location or any environment because uh, I spent a lot of time playing basketball and I've been traveling a lot, so you know it wasn't really difficult for me to adjust. And uh, you know I felt like here's home. Uh, I came here, uh, the coaching staff, the whole program welcomed me with open arms, and uh, it's been really great uh, so far. It's so good. I can't really complain about anything. So. What's been the biggest adjustment you feel like since you got here? Um, having to go out more because uh, go out and associate with people, my teammates and everybody. I'm not really the type of guy that goes out a lot. Uh, I like my own space and some people call it introvert, but I just, uh, I like to enjoy my own space, you know, be by myself, enjoy my company, whatever it is. But, you know, being here, you know, we have an awesome team. I have to hang out with the guys, build a team chemistry and everything. So. Silas told us about you dunking on him. Just what, what's been your favorite play of the preseason? My favorite play? Uh, it's a lot. It's a, it's a lot in the basket, man. Um, uh, I don't really do a favorite because it's really difficult to choose. But I, I'll say, like, so far, the season been great. Um, the offseason and everything, uh, it's been great for us. Uh, my teammates, I've gotten to know them. Everything about them is great. All complement each other. Um, probably, you know, my team winning the drills or uh, everything. That's the best thing about it. Because whenever I'm playing or um, practicing, I always, you know, try to win. Mm -hmm. That's the that's the main thing. I always want to win. Um, you know, I don't really have like a favorite play or anything. But you know, whenever my team wins, we don't lose. At the end of the day, we're still a team. We're practicing. But you know, that's the best uh, best thing that happens. I, I know you were entering or entertaining the idea of the NBA draft. Just what was the feedback you got uh, from that? And, and how do you think you're going to try to carry that into this college season? 
Uh, you know, it's just like, uh, I feel like everything is about experience. Uh, uh, I'm glad I get to experience that and you know, get the feedback that I needed. Uh, I met with the, the, the GMs and the coaching staff. They told me what I need to work on and improve. And, and I feel like it's really good because, you know, now you have like a roadmap on what you need to work on, how you need to go about it. Um, you know, I'm looking forward to the season to show that I've been working on it all off season and everything. Uh, and I'm ready to help a team win you know, you know, basketball games and stuff. What were some of those things that they wanted you to work on? It's just like uh, regular stuff that make teams win games. You know, just Coach Rex say he called it winning players and losing players. Uh, you know, just playing the game the right way, uh, making the right decisions, the right plays. You know, getting your teammates open. Uh, it's not really about yourself. Like doing the stuff that really helps your team win. You know, when you do that, then the other personal stats or whatever it will increase in, in a positive way. So. You're obviously someone who takes and has a lot of pride in their defensive abilities. Where does that sort of drive to become a dominant defensive player come from for you? Um, I would say uh, I've been like this my whole life. Uh, everything I, I, I do in my life, I try to stay consistent. Like uh, That's what I picked up when I started playing basketball. And I, I am a very competitive guy. When I, whatever I do, it doesn't really matter. Like for fun or whatever, I like to compete because, you know, What's the point of doing if you can if you're not gonna try? So um, I been like that my whole life. Uh, it's part of me. It, that's the thing that makes me who I am. So I I've been like that. So yeah. We've heard a lot about your dunks this preseason. So what's your mentality when you got the ball and you got a chance to go? Um. <laughs> uh, when I, I it's just like the mindset I developed when I was really really young when I started playing the game. My coach and you know, the first time I started playing basketball, he tell me if you can dunk the ball, dunk it. Like, you know, why not try? Uh, again, it's just like, a, and the, I feel like the game is a, it's a mental game. Uh, when you dominate guys, they either step up their game or they, you know, they back down. So uh, <laughs> when I'm playing, I whenever I get the ball, I like to test the guys' mind hole to see, you know, when I do whatever I do, I look them in the eyes and see what they're middle. So yeah. I would imagine coming from OT, you might have a relationship with Jaw Jackson. Just what's it been like watching him come to Georgia and, and play football? And do you think you could play football? Um, yeah, I feel like I could play pretty much anything like any sport because I grew up playing a lot of sports and uh, uh, I played a lot of sports, soccer, volleyball, everything. But you know, my body had different plan, different plan for me because I really loved soccer growing up. Uh, it was you know. My first love, but yeah, I got tall and big. I had to switch to basketball. So, <laughs> yeah, um, no, I've known Ja for like two years at OTE. He's my friend, like really good friend. We play video games together. We talk a lot about other stuff aside from basketball, and I'm really happy for him because you know I I stayed with him in Atlanta over there. Meantime, him being here, like I see him most of the time when I go for my school stuff. It feels great to you know, you know, see someone you've known before from a different place here, and I'm happy for him that he's playing and thriving. And, you know, I'm looking forward to see what his end goal is. Did he talk to you at all before you decided to make the switch over to football? Oh, uh, personally, he didn't give me details, but he told me okay. that he was thinking about it. So, mm -hmm. yeah. You're part of a really talented freshman class here at Georgia. Just what have you seen from those other newcomers, those freshmen that have joined here? Um. I feel like everybody on this team is unique, uh, and I'm super excited for the season because I believe like we are so so good. Like we complement each other, and I believe in every single one of them in the locker room or wherever we are. Like I would pick this team over anybody any day. So I'm excited about it, and uh, I'm looking forward to the season. And I know we all have the same goal. That's to win, and I believe we can do that. So. Questions for Santo? We appreciate you, man. Thanks, Santo. Thanks, Santo.